What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and every year Call of Duty always does something over the top compared to last year in terms of weapon customization, such as the paint shop, the gunsmith, um, different weapon variant attachments, weapon kits, etc. And in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, we already got a little hint on how much detail we as players are actually going to be able to control. So this article that I have on screen was posted over on Activision's official blog. And they talk about this new customization feature called the gun bench. And from what I understand, this gun bench is basically like the create a class menu. So here is where we can choose our loadouts, but also we can disassemble and even personalize how we want the weapon to appear. Meaning we can change the gun's barrel, grip, stock, optics, magazine, pretty much anything and everything seems to be an option open to customization inside the gun bench. Now on screen I have some gameplay from Battlefield Hardline which also has a gun bench customization feature. Uh, just to kind of give you guys a general idea of what we may be working with in Modern Warfare. It's very, very similar based off the description that Activision gave in the blog post. Like, you can go over to, like, every little detail and aspect about the gun's appearance. And we're talking about details like the wear and tear on the gun. Like, this can potentially be something extremely huge and game-breaking for the Call of Duty franchise. However, what I am worried about is they may decide to throw in a bunch of customization items in supply drops and the only way we can unlock them is by, you know, opening supply drops. I truly, truly do hope it does not come down to something like that. Instead, I think something like a money system, kind of similar to Battlefield, would be perfect. So like every time you win a game, you can earn extra money or depending on how many kills you got in the game, you can earn extra cash there. Um, how many flags you captured, like that would be incredible. Just hopefully everything is not locked behind supply drops so yeah that's just a little description on the gun bench feature in modern warfare i expect more details to officially come out when we get gameplay um i can see the gun bench also being something like a universal feature instead of just locked to multiplayer or locked just the campaign like infinity ward has already stated the game's features are universal so i do expect the gun bench weapons to transfer over to campaign spec ops and vice versa i don't want to speculate too much because of course i have not yet played modern Modern Warfare, but yeah, based off what I heard from people who have actually had their hands on the game, we're gonna have the most freedom for customization like ever, which is absolutely huge. And one thing I would love to see is some way we can at least share with our friends or even other COD players online um, the weapons we created. Like maybe we can show off the weapon in the pregame lobby or even upload them somewhere in the game and players can download them to use. Um, but again, more information should be coming out very, very soon here. And then lastly, I want to quickly brief on a new operator called Zane. Unfortunately, I don't have any images to show what he may look like. But basically, he's wearing body armor and also what's called a tactical poncho. I'll see if I can find something on like Google Images of something that looks similar to Zane and put it up on screen for you guys. And so yeah, now we have a total of five operators, which are Otter, Kruger, Grinch, Wyatt, and now Zane. So yeah, that's the quick little article I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I'm going to leave it down below in the description in case you guys want to go check that out there. And yeah, please tell me your thoughts about the gun bench in the comment section down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Till next time, I'll see you later.